Hello and welcome to the channel. Mother Russia is holding you back and you want to make your way to the quarry. What you'll want to do is hit your map. You'll want to go to contracts. Go to Tega Oil and start tracking geological exploration. I mean, you don't have to track it. I'm choosing to do so. And in red, it tells you, it's, it tells you that you're going to need a seismic vibrator module. So the one in your butt ain't going to cut it for this one. So once you start tracking that, you'll notice that you need to go to three different locations to do a scan. I am using this truck right here, the Azov 64131. And when you go to customize it, and you go to frame add-ons, you go to the vibrator, which I didn't have to pay for. Apparently I already owned one. I'm just saying I never used it before. Don't look at me funny. Don't judge me. Go ahead and add that to your truck, to the off-road one. There's probably some other trucks that you can use for this, but I just found that this was a good one. And it was also used in a video where there was no narration. It got you to the point, though. That's, that's the main thing. It got you to the point, but there was a couple pieces of detail missing, and I don't like having to think. I like people holding my hand. And no, don't worry. I'm not going to drive all the way there and record it. So once you've got geological exploration, you've got that add-on, you've got that truck or a similar truck with that add-on, you're going to go to the three locations, which I'm now going to show you. So I'm going to pause the video, and I shall return when I'm there. I have arrived at the first location. So look at our map. We are in the north middle part of the map. Let's zoom right in. Nothing overly complicated here. Put a marker like right here, you know, just drive right in. You'll see the countdown number at the top right. You know, once you get closer and it's going to beep, 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 like that, okay? Once you're in this spot, it's going to stop beeping. You can then hit up for function, look at the bottom, hit square on a PS4, X on an Xbox, and if you're one of those PC elitists, well, figure it out on your own, I don't know the key, and just hit the uh, seismic vibration, whip out your vibrator, start shaking the ground. <clears throat> and that's pretty much how you do that. And uh, that's done. So now we've got to go to two other areas. And uh, is he falling asleep on the job again? I will whoop your ass. I'll do it. Who's talking now? Huh? Right. We got shit to do here. Anyways, on to the next location. Having a hard time with uh, getting to the second location. So look at your map. We're in the middle uh, western part of the map. Directly north of the gateway here to the quarry. One of the three ways to get there. And it's right in here. Right there. Now what's interesting about this is how you're going to get there. Me personally, I'm not saying this is the best way I came here. I went there. I went down here, came here, fueled up, went down here, or over here, over there. Then when I got here, I turned over here. And I actually didn't go here, to the road. I stopped here, and I drove down. And I went through all of this. All of this right here. All the way here. Now that I'm here, I immediately turn to right, and I'm going to sneak around and see if I can just plow my way through up there. So as you can see, I came out of the gate there. There's like a fence and stuff blocking me to the left, and I'm thinking, you know what, I'm just going to peek out this way. You see what I'm doing? And I think I'm just going to head straight down that way. So I'm going to pause it here so the video is not too long, and I'll let you know what it looks like when I get closer. I finally managed to get there, so I know that this video is long, and I'm not saying this is the best way, so how I just showed you how I went all the way down here. Now this took a couple of minutes, right? I tried to stay to the left of the water as much as I could, and I would winch myself out whenever I would get stuck. Just kind of just basically plowed straight through. And as soon as I got here... Okay. 
the number disappeared, and right away, I'm able to do this for location number two. Now we've just got one more location, and I will be back once I'm there. So again, to recap, that's the spot right there. This part should go a little bit quicker, so I recalled the truck after the second location, so we went back to the garage. And I just kind of went, you know, down here. Followed the road all the way to the fallen bricks. Literally right past the fallen bricks. Once you get there, you'll start beeping. This is where you just basically want to go in. Again, I haven't been there yet, but... Uh, I'm, I'm hoping what I'm showing you is going to work. And then you literally just plow through these trees. Because like I said a million times, like a broken record, I can show you what you need to do in a matter of a minute. But how do you get there is a completely different story. Sometimes. This one, as you can see, now that the number does a different beepy thing, now you do your systemic vibration. And that's it. And now we've got the contract completed for geological exploration. So that was fun. But apparently that's not it. Now we're going to get on to the next part. So for the last part, go back to your contracts, go back to Tega Oil. You'll see geological explorations done. So now you want to go to looking beyond the horizon. Click on it. And that's where you need to deliver everything. So I'm not going to do these steps because it shows you where you need to go. And the locations to get to are pretty easy. You're going to need one metal plank, two service parts, and a cargo container. Now here's the good news, you don't need to go all the way down to the fuel station to get your service spare parts. You can actually go where the cargo container is, so it's a two-in-one, so you can grab two things that you need from here and go there, then you'll just need to go here to get your metal planks. And I'll, uh, I'll show that to you right now. So right here, see, there's the service parts, you can get them from here, and you can also get your cargo container. You just sadly can't get the metal from there either. So there's the proof that you can get it from the location near your garage. Like I said, that'll save you from having to go all the way down here. Like what a cluster shit that is. Anyhow, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. This is what happens to your truck. And if you want to redeem yourself, go back in time a couple of seconds before that devastation occurred. If you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as. And as always, hopefully I'll see at least some of you in the next video. Bye now.